hard not to get lost in this bowl bonanza, especially whenever teams are getting screwed, whenever, <laughs> you know, big games are being had, CTEs being delivered. There was two face masks earlier. <laughs> there was two face masks on a play. <laughs> hey, I saw a kid almost die today. At the, yeah. uh, I've actually been a champion of the bowl game in which a person almost died. The tax slayer gator bowl almost had a head slayer uh participant in two face masks okay back to back wake force one punch to the head of a, a Rutgers guy who was Wham. playing quarterback one one a little bit of a head turn there on that one he regains him i'm a tough guy good football good grit he's a show man then he runs a little bit more and a wake force teammate said you're supposed to go down with the first face mask <laughs> actually grabs that thing, turns that son of a bitch sideways. Do you know how bad that would hurt? I, like, uh. as somebody who, and I didn't grow up playing football, obviously my entire life, but I played a lot of football. Uh, not, as, not as much as many, like AJ, but others. There wasn't a point, and maybe it's because I'm soft, where I didn't, putting that thing on was always like a here we fucking go. You know, like, all right, and it's squeezing, it's not comfortable, you never love it. They tried to adapt helmets, and helmets got uncomfortable and super comfortable, but they look terrible. Could you imagine, has that ever happened to you, and have you ever done that to somebody? That thing turning sideways on the field would hurt so bad, and then a guy landed on his head. So he, he had the helmet sideways, and then a third wake player landed on his head. Almost saw a guy die. I think we almost saw a guy die out there, AJ. Yeah, maybe. I, that actually has never happened to me in a game, but it definitely has happened in practice where a guy grabs it, turns it sideways, but my helmet was always so loose when they grabbed it, it would just they would just take it right off. So. Oh, so you're saying if you don't helps. strap your helmet on that tight, Whenever somebody comes to grab the bottle top, it'll just take off as opposed to turn. I mean, this dude. Yeah, mine would be way gone by that point. Yeah. Way, way gone. This guy never had a concussion. He never wore a mouthpiece, didn't strap his helmet on. What the hell? I mean, maybe this guy's got it right. Yeah. You take the helmet off, they won't hit you. Yeah. You know what I mean? If the helmet no, but when I played, you, your helmet comes off, you're still playing. Like, they didn't blow it dead. No concussions. So that's why, <laughs> is that why your face is the way it is? Because when your helmet would easily get ripped off because you didn't strap it on, you would just barrel your face into people? Is that how you played? <laughs> No, I did not want to do is that. that what is that what that. made that face? Yeah. <laughs> is that why the jawline is so great? Because there was a percentage of plays every single game in which your helmet was ripped off because it wasn't strapped on. And you, hey, you only know football one way. What was that James Harrison told you? Debo said, right here, right, AJ? And you're like, yeah, right for the Adam's apple. See you? <laughs> is that why your face is the way it is, AJ? Is that what it is? I mean, it may be, yeah, it may have something to do with that. Never thought about that. How many... Helmetless tackles have you made? Do you remember any big time? No, not many. No, I mean, I was – it not there was a many. couple of years there where the NFL started sending letters to to the locker room saying, like, I know one of them said our the equipment manager, Red, who's a legend there, he was getting worried because they were trying to put it on him. Like, he wasn't giving me the right equipment. I was like, no, Red, I'll, I told him it's me. But they uh, <laughs> they said, like, oh, we <laughs> – they No, I almost got fined for it because my helmet kept coming off just because of how I like to wear it and if you're sweaty, all that stuff. They said one one video. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, Zeno. Oh, yeah. Zeno, where am I? No, it's going to break, too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah they, that, that was the highlight. Yeah, this was back whenever they could have aired, like, somebody literally killing somebody. A deep cleat. That was normally what won into uh, the, the break. But right here on Thanksgiving, you know, how do you not have A.J. Hawk helmetless uh, with a guy laying on his face there? I mean, did you make his play? Yeah. I forget. I mean, I got in on it, and then something happened. Maybe hands to the face. They started knocking my helmet off, and I was like twisting around. But yeah, I have no idea. So AJ, when you say you, uh, you can take this off. I mean, Sounds like memory loss. From but whenever you, um, yeah, it does. Yeah, going out there yeah, blacking out probably because he's tackling never... people. No helmet. <laughs> so you just, what do you mean with the way it was sweaty and the way you like to wear it? You're just putting on like a baseball. That's hat? why my nose has been blasted my whole life because I always wore my helmet really low, and then I liked it loose too because I want to be able to talk and feel comfortable on it. And so yeah, it would just it would blast my nose all the time. So you were trying to play football helmetless? No, I was never trying to. It just became a thing eventually. <laughs> I mean, that thing. I, fixed, I tightened it up a little bit though. I got the, the league sent a letter saying like we've we've checked the footage and your helmets come off eight times this year and when we added up the rest of the NFL combined. They've only had four helmet losses on all the teams combined or something. This is egregious. If you don't do something, I think they're going to find me. So, hey, I think you need to get yourself, you know, you need to think about getting yourself, you know, one of these. Oh, you know what I mean? It sounds like you, you are, huh? 
What's the little baby belt for? Well, belts hold Come up your on. pants. This is a Come fucking on, dude. title. Come dude, on. you ever heard of it? Little baby nah, I, never, I didn't know that was coming, but yeah, continue. This little baby title. Well, you, you alley me. I think you need one of these for being the best no helmet tackler mm -hmm. in the helmet era of the no. NFL in the history. Yeah. I, I think that is something that is well deserved. We'll send you one of these. Hey, by the way, you've earned yourself one of these. <laughs> <laughs> you boys got one of these? Huh? No, you, I ain't got one of them. You got one of these? That's what I thought. You know what I mean? Where'd that come? Where did it come from? Huh? You pulled it out of somewhere. Where was that? Well, the thing about these baby titles, you know what I mean? You could just literally. This thing's been sitting right here all, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> What's it for? Huh? Like, what is it for? For when something good happens, like you tackling people with no helmet. And so much so that Roger Goodell said, fucking guy, put a helmet on a little bit tighter. Everybody else has none. You have eight. Two games into the season. Can you please put, whenever you something sweet like that happens, you say, hey, you know what? You deserve a little baby tight. You're right. You know I mean? Can't wait. To, can't wait to get one of those and carry it around in my back pocket for moments like this. Well, I'm certain I'm going to send this to you. You know, I'll remember as soon as we get oh, out of yeah. this. <laughs>